Hi loves, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Oluwakemi Adesola. If you're seeing this pretty face for the first time, look down your screen now and click on that subscribe button because you don't want to miss the great content that I dish out here. And if you're a returning subscriber, what's up? You know how we do it. Thank you for coming back. And yes, it's been a minute. Now to the other of the day. Uh, you know, we're always talking about red flags, how to know you're dating the wrong guy, how to know you're dating the wrong girl. Now today we're doing something positive. We're going to be talking about how to know you are in the right relationship how to know you are not into something toxic how to know you are with the right person i mean the green flags in a relationship my dear sit there that's your bus stop that's your comfort zone and for somebody coming from um from, for, for somebody that have previously been in a toxic relationship, these things are going to seem new, you know, when they are experiencing these things. To them, it, it, would, it would feel normal because in their head, they'll be like, ah, so this is how things are actually supposed to be like. It, it feels like a dream to them, but yes, we're going to be talking about the green flags in a relationship. Now, the very first one is partners honoring their words. When your partner says, yes, I'm going to do this, yes, I'm not going, no, I'm not going to do this, this is how we're going to be, and things happen that way, like it is the exact same way they say it would be, and you see things happening that same way, that is people honoring their words, and this is done out of respect, because people, people will respect you, when your partner respects you, they wouldn't want to not fulfill a promise or say something was going to be a certain way and they'll do something else that's disrespectful but when they honor their words when they fulfill their promises yes that is respect that is the person having regard for you and your feelings so yeah if you're in a relationship and that happens my dear you are in the correct place you are in the right place you are where you deserve to be stay there another thing is being able to have healthy disagreement trust me people in toxic relationship they can never agree to disagree no whenever there is a fight whenever there is an argument things must be thrown you know either objects or or very very vulgar words you know you're arguing with your partner and you're using words like oh you're an idiot you're stupid you're crazy bastard you know start using vulgar words for your partners just because you are having an argument like it's not right and some people go as much as throwing things at their partners hitting their partners beating their partners up just because of an argument so if you're in a elder if you're in an elder relationship trust me these things do not happen your partner is going to be able to disagree with you of course people don't see things the same way all the time you know people can disagree but it is healthy because oh, oh yes you're saying something different i am not agreeing with you it's fine you know it's not a must to see things from the same perspective or to it's not a must to come to an agreement all the time but the the main point here is that it has to be healthy we don't have to throw words at each other we don't have to throw hands either yes now the third thing is if you're in a relationship and you feel like your partner is actually listening to you if you feel heard in your relationship like your partner is listening to you you know there are some tiny details you would mention and the other person is actually listening imagine you and your partner you were talking and you mentioned that oh while you were in high school you enjoy reading a lot and your partner gives you a book like two weeks later he was he or she was listening that is actually a very good feeling like wow this person listens and is acting based on the things that you said or you don't you say something like you don't like towel wet towels on the bed or you, you just mention something and you know your partner starts acting due to that start acting in accordance with whatever you mentioned you know those little details sometimes it actually means a lot to 
people so when you start feeling hurt in your relationship when you feel like your partner is actually listening to you and you see the way your partner is acting that okay yes i mentioned this and now my partner is doing this you know it makes people happy and that is a green flag in any relationship the fourth thing is being able to process issues as they come up you know in in toxic relationships the partners don't talk like when your partner offends you you're not going to say it. you just keep it inside and you start bearing a grudge then the person does something else you know you, you keep piling things up you keep piling things up and then one day you just you go off like you go off you curse at each other you swear at each other you know because those things have already piled up it's already a lot on you but in other relationships when something happens you sit down you address it you solve it and you move on from it but most times in toxic relationships when there is a problem the partners they have sex they don't talk about it they just have sex and get over it and move on but that thing is still there the grudge is still there the anger is still there because it wasn't discussed it wasn't sorted and it is most likely that next time when there's going to be an argument or something it's going to be about the same thing because it wasn't talked about the last time it happened so that is very very unhealthy and toxic but when you are in a, in an elder relationship this is a green flag when something happens you sit down and address it with your partner you can agree to disagree you can sort it out you can do just make sure you talk about it so the other party will know that what you're doing i do not like it this thing that happens i don't like it i'm not comfortable with this i'm not comfortable with that i don't want you to do that anymore then the person will know that at least you talked about it so that is a green flag in a relationship like i said earlier if you are in any relationship and some of these things that i've mentioned is happening please you are in the right relationship and it is very very healthy another thing is feeling free to be your authentic self you know there's the, you're in a relationship and there's no need to be fake there's no need for you to pretend to be who you're not maybe because your partner likes certain character certain attitudes you know there are some people some people are with partners that like fun people some people like adventurous people and like people that oh babe let's go hiking babe let's go cycling babe let's go skydiving and you know that normally these are things that are not fun for you and things that you don't ever want to try but because you're with somebody that likes those things you now want to do it first off you're not going to be happy with yourself because those are not the things you want to be doing some people endangering their life is fun for them and for you that is that is a no-no but because you are with somebody that likes those things you have to do them or you are with someone who enjoys going to parties and lodging a party from morning till night and if you're just an you're just at home oh you're just a homebody that just wants to stay at home read a book you know light a candle watch a movie just do something cool that is fun for you but because you want to satisfy that other person you have to be somebody else entirely no that is a red flag but when you can be your true self and your partner is letting you be your true self though you can come to a compromise of like of doing things that you both will enjoy things you both are comfortable doing then you can do those things together but nobody will force you to to do the activities that the other person enjoy or nobody will make you feel bad for not doing those things yes so if you if you're in a relationship and your partner is letting you be your true self your partner does not have a problem with you being your true self that is a great flag stay there another thing is discussing your fears with your partner without the fear of being judged you know there are some people that if you if you discuss your feelings with them they'll judge you you know you can tell your partner some things and they'll be like oh you're being too emotional you're being you're getting too angry it's not it's not that a big deal you know they invalidate your feelings and you know there are certain things that will be your fears in that relationship like oh i'm scared i'll lose you because maybe because of your insecurities or something your partner is meant to calm you down talk to you see reasons with you why you're feeling that way and your partner will you know put your feelings into consideration and reason with you or figure out a way 
so you will no longer feel insecure or have certain fears in that relationship so if you're in any relationship and when you state your fears or your insecurities and your partner does not even regard it or doesn't feel the need to discuss it or he just dismisses it that's a red flag but if your partner puts your feelings into consideration all the time and you you know your partner is not instilling fear in you to talk about this thing you know some people want to talk about their some people will tell their friends some things and you know your friend will be like so did you tell your partner be like, no i can't tell i can't tell him i can't tell her because he won't see it as a big deal that is wrong but if you're in the right relationship of course your partner will always want to hear you out. He or she will never be judgmental about your feelings or your fears. So please check your relationship. Is your partner making you feel comfortable enough to discuss your fears and your feelings? So the last thing is willingness to be open to a different perspective. Active. Some people are in relationships and no, they never want to be wrong. They want to be right all the time. They never want to be seen in the wrong. You know, whatever they say stays. They don't want to care how you are seeing it. They don't want to care what your own perspective is like. As long as theirs has been stated, yes, that's it. But if you are in an healthy relationship, your partner will understand that nobody has to be right. Nobody has to be wrong. Your partner will be willing to see things from your own perspective and also if you are in a relationship and it's it's an elder one you will want to see things also from your partner's perspective there wouldn't have to be fights on you are the one in the wrong i'm the one that is right and all of that so guys that's all i have for you today if there is any green flag that you know there are, there are so many but i wanted this video to be as short as possible so um that's all i have for today guys uh drop your opinions in the comment section other green flags in relationship or every other thing that looks like a green flag in relationships i want to see it in the comments section and i am open for collaborations if you are in bangalore india we can come together make a video talk about anything at all uh, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to click on the like button. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to share this video with All of your friends and tell them to share it with your friends as well I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye